Hey, what's up, everyone? Luigi GX right here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Metal Sonic versus Metal Mario, and Sega versus Nintendo, Cartoon Fight Club. I am, I'm pretty sure Metal Sonic's gonna win, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping, ladies and gentlemen, that Metal Mario's gonna win. I always find Metal Mario really cool. I mean, I love using the Metal Cap in Smash Bros. It always, it was always funny, and everything, but so I enjoyed it. I enjoy Metal Mario. He's awesome. Metal Sonic, I find him cool. And yeah, to be honest, I actually find Metal Sonic even better than, than regular Sonic. Okay, I probably made a, lot, a little bit of you ang fans angry right there, but I'm sorry. That's just how I think. But anyway, so yeah, this is where, if you all saw my Robbie versus Waluigi reaction video to that, I'm pretty sure Nintendo it's gonna drop the ball again with not letting characters give any real sort of fighting abilities or having any adventure games or any, or any of that. So yeah, mostly other spin-offs. So yeah, Nintendo, you're gonna fail again when it comes to fighting videos like these. So as always, make sure to check out the original video and we'll be right back here and watch it together. Okay? Okay. Sonic vs. Flat, Batman vs. Black Panther, Mouse vs. Bugs Bunny, Basil vs. Transformers, Aerosan vs. Song AC, Wire vs. Cool, Sans vs. Garnet, Bunchy vs. Mean Free For All, Arjun Fight Club. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 138th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if huh. you're new to this series... Both Nintendo and Sega videos for fighting. If you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. For tonight's battle, we have an animation by Ultimo, the voice oh. of Eggman by Scorching Sanity, and some custom music oh. by Valdemir K. If you enjoy what you see, wow. check out these channels and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Metal Sonic and Metal Mario. Yep. Metal Mario, please note that this is not the Metal Cap Mario power-up. Uh, in fact, the Metal Mario character from the party and sports games. With this being said, let's introduce... Okay, again, I really feel like Nintendo should have put... Round of okay, seriously, that kind of reminds me of the bottom of my fight six. He had the brains to build pretty much any weapon of mass destruction he wanted. However, he always had one problem. Everything he built eventually got destroyed by Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic ripped through nearly every machine made. This made Eggman look like a joke. The Egg finally came up with an idea of creating something that could match Sonic in nearly every way possible. Yeah, but I thought I was Sonic CD. Sonic. Metal Sonic at his core is a biogenetic and mechanical duplicator. His copied features of Sonic are his most... I know it's a little... His copied features of Sonic are his most iconic use of powers, but in yep. actuality, he is built to duplicate the powers and abilities of anything he can scan. The stronger an enemy oh. or target is, the longer and harder it would be to scan. However, if Metal Sonic is successful at scanning his target, his body can duplicate yeah, this could be a problem. the target had. His first and primary target was Sonic himself, putting him on par with Sonic in all physical means. Metal Sonic is just as fast, strong, durable, and powerful as Sonic if not more powerful. Thanks to his mimic ability, mm -hmm. he also gained the ability to turn invisible, time travel, and tap into chaos energy. In oh, fact, this could be a big problem. Metal Sonic is I extremely don't... difficult to do. Unless you double team Metal Sonic with other outside fighters, if Metal Sonic fully copies your abilities, it would pretty much be too late. Now, depending on how powerful you can copy Metal Sonic, quite some time I mean, for Metal Sonic to fully scan your physical stats. Metal Mario. So if you manage to beat Metal Sonic before he fully copies your power level, there is definitely an opportunity to win a fight against him. But if all right, if Metal Mario can get the job done, have all of your abilities at his own disposal. Metal Sonic is also really dangerous because he can also copy thoughts, memories, and experience levels. Oh. Storm Sonic has never fully beaten Metal Sonic purely on his own. Metal Sonic hey. has lost fights.
fights to Super Sonic or through being double teamed by Sonic and his friends, but never in a one on one base fight. Overall, All right. Final Sonic has coined Eggman's most dangerous creation. He has the ability to copy targets and use his targets as his own. Don't see Metal Mario winning. Metal head to another. Let's discuss Metal Mario. Before we get started, it is important to remember that the Metal Mario character and the Metal Capped Mario power up are two completely different entities. The Metal Cap is a power up that regular Mario uses for a temporary metal upgrade. Metal Mario is a completely different character and his own separate sentient being within the Nintendo roster. Metal Mario doesn't have an official That's gonna use Ultra and Ruben Sports, design, maybe. But he does appear in an assortment of party sports and cart games. Nintendo, you gotta do much better with the characters, besides playing them in spin-offs. That being said, there is plenty of ways to gather stats through scaling and power ranking representation. In the Mario Golf Character Select Station, Metal Mario's strength is ranked even higher than that of Bowser's. Bowser himself is ranked to be stronger than Mario, and we all know how powerfully strong Mario is. Wow. I did not know that. Bowser is capable of the damn castles. ...and be on par with many of the Mario heavy hitters. And since it's confirmed that Metal Mario is massively heavier and stronger than regular Mario, it is safe to scale Metal Mario to the Metal Capped Mario power-up. This makes Metal Mario permanently 10 times stronger and more durable than regular Mario. Alright, it's durability. Maybe that could be enough. ...heavy stomps, fire, and most elemental projectiles. Metal Mario isn't limited by his heavy weight. His weight does not affect his speed or agility, oh. meaning he can still jump just just as high and run just as fast as regular Mario. All right. However, one downside for Metal Mario is his lack of experience. He's only really been featured in party and sports games and all. See, Nintendo, you gotta do much better. Put him in RPGs or something. Power levels, but it doesn't show that he nearly has the same fighting experience or skill as normal Mario. On the flip side, his metal abilities doesn't run out like regular Mario's. Overall, Metal Mario has all the abilities of the Metal Cap Mario power-up. Yeah, I hope Metal Mario wins, but I, even though I do know that Metal Sonic's gonna win. And now, let's get ready for Nintendo, you really gotta do a better job. You really gotta put him... You really need to put Metal Mario in RPGs or something. Like, that will be perfect. I mean, stop with characters in, in spin-off games. I'm pretty sure come on. We don't like to see Waluigi or Wario or Rosalina or anybody in RPG. I'm pretty sure the fans would like it. I know if you just pay attention to the characters go pop. The Now that the emerald is located, who is the one that wields it? There's voice acting. Ah, so it's him that has my emerald. Oh, Metal Mario. Well then, Metal Sonic, head to the transporter. You're on a mission to retrieve this emerald. I love this animation. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can Mel Mario finally can defeat Mel Sonic? Oh, he's just like regular 16-bit Mario. That just painted like metal. Okay, he is 10 times more durable than Mario by Black Hole, so 18 out of the top. I didn't know Mario could stand long enough to fuck with Mel. Ah, oh, no. Okay, now that's just all. Do it. 
See, Antonio, you gotta do a better job. You need to do a better job of playing your characters and more fighting games. You really need to get a more canon with actual fighting and everything. Eggman, Scorching Sanity, and the music by Valdemir K. You gotta do a much better job. Metal Sonic beats Metal Mario. When discussing the fight between Metal Mario and Metal Sonic, it is very important to remember that this fight has little to nothing to do with the actual Mario vs. Sonic debate. Both yep. Metal Mario and Metal Sonic are completely different characters with completely different abilities than regular Mario and Sonic. And when looking at this fight right off the bat, Metal Mario actually has far more base durability, power, and strength. Metal Sonic has the skill and speed edge, but if it wasn't for Metal Sonic's duplication ability, he would actually have quite a tough time getting past Metal Mario's super impressive durability. Wait, really? With Metal Sonic's speed advantage, he can keep himself a safe distance to get a fully processed scan on Metal Mario. Once that scan is done, Metal Sonic will have the same exact strength as Metal Mario, the same durability and overall stats. Not only that, but Metal Sonic will also keep all of his previous powers, giving him an advantage in literally every single category. When it yeah, I do a much better job, Nintendo, again. Beating Metal Sonic is extremely difficult to do. Unless you double team Metal Sonic with other outside fighters, beating Metal Sonic will be really hard. If Metal Sonic fully copies your abilities, it would pretty much be too late. The only real way to beat Metal Sonic in a one-on-one -on -one fight is to finish him off before he can actually copy your powers to its yeah. full extent. It would take at least some time for him to copy your powers, but if he does manage to do it, which I certainly believe he can against Metal Mario thanks to his speed advantage, well, then this fight really becomes Metal Mario versus Metal Mario with Supreme Sonic speed. Do I really have Hi. to tell you who wins in a fight between Metal Mario and Metal Mario with Supreme Sonic speed? I don't nope. think so. Now, if you do want to see a two-on-two -two sudden death between Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic versus Metal Mario and Metal Luigi, all you gotta do is like... Wait, there's a Metal Luigi? Oh, wait, don't you mean... No, never mind. I was about to say Silver Luigi, but I thought... I knew there was gonna be, like, a sudden death or a rematch with two-on-two, -two, but... I was mostly expecting with Metal Mario teaming up with regular Mario and Metal Sonic teaming up with regular Sonic. Uh, I'm okay. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Yeah, I know it is. It came out today, actually. I did not see it, ladies and gentlemen. In the blue corner, representing a skeleton, I give you Team Undertale with Kara. And that's it. And in the red hey. corner, Featuring a box of pizza, I give you Team a pizza. Five Nights at Freddy's. Featuring Purple Guy, Freddy, Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Foxy, Toy... Uh, is that Peter? Balloon Boy, like Peter Spider-Man? Golden Freddy. That's right, the Kara vs. Five Nights at Freddy's final face-off is here. This is part two to that Total War that was released in November. So get prepared for it, because oh. Kara is all on its own. But still, Nintendo, what the heck? You need to do a better job. Like, seriously, Nintendo, we don't want to see them on, on party games. We don't want to see them at race cards. We actually want to see them achieve goals on their own. Seriously, Nintendo, you got to do a much better job. I do a much better job, Nintendo. You really should. You really should, Nintendo. <sighs> you know, I actually thought, thought of a very good point, actually. Nintendo, we do not want to see... You don't want to see Rosalina in a golf... Car, in a golfing, or we don't want to see her in a go-kart. We don't want to see any, of, any other side Mario characters racing or playing tennis or having parties. No, we actually want to see them in the full canon Mario series actually doing stuff, having, actually having their own abilities. Abilities. We don't want to see them have non-canon non only thing with spin-off games. No, Nintendo. Just give the fans what they want. They, we want to see them. We want to see the fans actually in the RPGs. We don't want to see them 
in parties. We don't want to see them anywhere. Just in the actual... If you're going to have a ginormous roster of characters, at least Nintendo put them in actual games. In actual Mario games. Not in anything. Like, seriously. Do you have any idea how good it would be if you actually get them real personality? I mean, come on. I know I'm not the only one thinking about this, but trust me. If you put... If you make a... If Nintendo actually made an RPG where they put a lot of those Mario characters, a lot of them an actual, and give them an actual story, then maybe a lot of people will start loving these characters even more. Like, seriously, Nintendo, you need to work on that. You need to work on that better, Nintendo. Like, seriously, think about it, Nintendo. Do you have any idea how many people love your character, your characters, Nintendo, even more? They actually got personality and real story. Come on, Nintendo. Think about it. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi GX, out.